Hey YouTube, so all this foundation model stuff is about a non-deterministic way of working in the computational world. The core idea in it, I believe, is the idea of similarity. What is similarity? Well, I think you already know what it is, but you aren't used to giving it a number, assigning a number to how similar something is. Let's try that out. Today, I went to the supermarket, I got a lemon. The lemon I had in mind is a lot smaller than this gigantic lemon. This lemon is like 0.8, the lemon that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, okay? Now, this lime is closer in size to the lemon I was looking for. So I would give this a better rating than the giant lemon I have. It's like 0.9 close to my mental model. Now, let's say there's an orange here. Oh, well, that's it's a fruit, but it's like maybe 0.4, the lemon in my mind. And then a bell pepper. Yeah, this is like a maybe a 0.2 because it's a edible thing. You know, if I said it was zero, I would assign maybe a piece of beef a zero or a piece of wood zero. But, you know, it's a 0.2-ish, lemon-ish, you know. Definitely not a 1 or a 0.8. Follow so far? So the way these large language models work is they can compare two things. They can compare words. They can compare sentences. They can compare sentences and paragraphs, sentences and entire books. But let's go back to words for a second. Let's go to my favorite thing, the TensorFlow projector. Cool. So here I can see I was playing with fruit for a second here. So uh, what are the words similar to fruit? Think of it like a super duper thesaurus that can sort of show you how different words interrelate. I can like kind of zoom into word space. I was just watching that Marvel film about the quantum verse. Um, you see that? So you can see in, in the cloud, fruit, trees, bacteria, products. You know, some of these words are less fruitish, 0.1 fruitish but some of them are like 0.9 fruitish, right? There's an idea of similarity of words in meaning space. The embedding representation is a vector representation of a concept. You can take a sentence and generate the embeddings for it. You can take a, a paragraph, a page, and you get a vector out of it. And with that vector, you can compare it to another vector, and voila, you find something similar. Quick review. Number one, non-determinism the kind of computation that is quite laid back. Number two, similarity. The ability to compare two things, given they are very abstract, like words, sentences, paragraphs, pages, books, libraries, and to be able to compare my library to your library, like that? Whoa. All right. So let's keep going, and I hope this works for you. It's working for me. I'm just going to try this every week. So see you next week.